I'm Chef Mike Moses and welcome to my kitchen. So, as you know, I like to look for deals. And one of the deals I found was a smoked ham hock on sale for $1.99. I figured smoked ham hock, split pea soup, and I got that coming up. For the split pea soup, it's real easy. We need one cup of split peas. We need one smoked ham hock, an onion, and some beef stock. First thing we gotta do, get our ham hock cooked and broken down. So, we'll take her out of the package. Oh, smells like smoke. Pop that into our pot. We're gonna cover this with about two inches of water. We're gonna put it on boil and then simmer for about an hour and a half. Okay, we've got the ham hock in the water. We're turning the heat up to high. We're gonna let this boil away and simmer probably for about an hour to an hour and a half so it really breaks down. And of course, while the ham hock is boiling away, we'll get our onion ready. And as always, when I use an onion in my soup, I always saute it. So what I'll do is I'll wait for the ham hock to get prepared and then we'll start assembling. The ham hock's been boiling away now for about two hours. Uh, it is released from the bone, so it's time to cool it down while we'll get our split peas going. I'll take the ham hock off the heat. When this cools down, we'll strip all the meat off it and put that back into our soup. Now you have two choices. One is, do I use a fresh stock for my split peas or do I use the ham hock stock? Personally, I would use fresh stock because this may be salty, maybe too smoky. We are going to reserve this liquid though because we want to add some smokiness back into our pea soup. As you can see, I've reserved about a cup of the stock that we use to do our ham hock in. Now I'm going to do the split peas and this is almost critical because they break down into a mush and you don't want that for your pea soup, but you do want the peas to be broken down so they're not crunchy or anything like that. Take some beef stock, probably about three cups, Add our cup of peas, split peas, and we're gonna let that boil. Add our beef stock to the pot. You're probably asking yourself, how does he know that's two cups of stock? Well, my pot actually has marks on the inside to tell me how much. And we'll add our one cup of split peas. Turn that on to high. That's going to go for 20 to 30 minutes. After about 20 minutes, you'll take out some peas, see if they're ready for soup. They call it split pea soup, and there is no skin on the peas, it's just the peas split. These are yellow peas, and they will break down, and they will break down very fast once you pass the 20 minute mark. You may have noticed I'm a big proponent of one pot. This, is, this pot's been going all day, just that one pot. Take our first piece of ham hock, break out the meat. So as you can see, there's not a lot of meat on this hock. However, once we start taking away the cartilage, conjunctive material, we have enough for our pea soup. And we'll give it a good chop. There's the ham already for the split pea soup. All right, it's very critical during the last three or four minutes of your, uh, of your preparation of your peas that you stir them. And you'll see they'll start to break down. They break down very fast once they get tender. Another point to mention is that as you're watching your peas boil away, don't let your liquid disappear. Add more beef stock if you have to. I've been actually adding some of the reserved liquid from the uh, ham hock and uh, my peas are just about ready. I can tell they're still firm, but I can also see some of them breaking down and they're gonna break down into a mushy state. That's where we add more stock and more of our reserve so that we get a nice liquid. I'm gonna add some more reserve. Once the split peas have been cooked and rendered down, I'm gonna separate those. Then I'm gonna do my onions and add in some ham hocks and start seasoning. And we'll build the layers of seasoning as we put together our soup. Okay, I would say that the first cook is done. It's been 28 minutes that I've had a cup of peas on. I've used two cups of beef stock. I've used a single cup of the reserved liquid from the ham hock. And we're going to remove it from the heat now. Put it in a bowl. Put this pot back on the heat. Add about a tablespoon of olive oil and your onions. And since your onions are in there, you'll want to season them. Salt. Good helping of pepper. And we'll start sauteing them around. Saute your onions until they are translucent. Scrape off all the goodness in the bottom. Mix that up. Now we can add our ham. 
Now I'm gonna add about a quarter of a cup of beef stock. Use that to deglaze the bottom. And now we'll add the peas back in. Okay, now the pea soup's done. Let's give it a little taste. Needs a little more salt. Not much. Just a little dash. And it needs a lot more pepper. And another taste. Mm, that's good. A little bit of crunch from the onions. We've got the ham, the smokiness, and the peas. But say I serve up a bowl for you. Okay, our pea soup is finished. Let's put some in a bowl and enjoy it. And there you have a smoked hem hock split pea soup. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And I post videos like this every week, so please subscribe. Also, if you'd like more information, head over to my blog, thepersonalchef.blog, where I post this recipe that you can print off. Thank you very much for watching. I look forward to helping you cook better, eat healthier, and shop smarter.